In every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. You find the fun and snap, the job's a game. And that's kind of the way I look at teaching. The more I've been giving my students fun things to do and the more rewarding it is for them to do the fun things that I give them, the more likely it is that I go home feeling like I did my best. If you didn't already know, that was Mary Poppins, my favorite literary character. She showed me that the val the, she, I'm sorry, she showed me the value of believing in magic and adding that little spoonful of sugar that can really help that medicine go down. Since I started teaching 18 years ago, I've been trying to find just the right amount, though, because you don't want to undermine the students' levels of rigor and, and, and um, you, just don't, you don't want to undermine the education that they need by throwing in too much fun, so there has to be quite a balance. What I've come to find is that the more fun and engaging I make the lessons for the students and the more rigor I add, the more likely it is that um, they feel rewarding, uh, rewarded and I feel rewarded. I've drawn some parallels between a, a game I've started playing this summer and <laughs> it's called Candy Crush. <laughs> How many of you are playing that game? It, it's pretty fun, right? It's pretty addictive. And to play the game successfully, sometimes you have to really pay attention to, um, sorry. I know I got this. Thanks, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> I had to bring my support team up here. Um, so I've drawn some parallels between the game of Candy Crush and the way I think about teaching. Just like in Candy Crush, teaching is a puzzle that involves, involves maximizing the effectiveness of every move that you make and every opportunity that you have to make those special, those special candies that explode everything. Um, in a rapidly changing environment, those are it's really hard to play Candy Crush with any level of consistency. But it's like teaching in another way, in that there's a lot of luck involved. Um, sometimes the candy just falls from the sky and you clear a level just because you were lucky. And I feel like I've been very lucky since I've come to Twin Rivers. Um, I've been lucky to have the support of two wonderful principals, first Joe Williams and then Brian Wellborn. And I've been very lucky to have the support of a wonderful, supportive, administrative team in Candace and now Javier. I have a wonderful board that really gets it and I feel like there's just no more obstacles. It's like in Candy Crush when you get the wrapper and the striped candy together and they explode and all of a sudden you're just done. It's like here I, I won. Oh my gosh. So basically the Candy Crush analogy hopefully you understand if you've been playing and if you haven't you need to go download it because it's really really fun and <laughs> the students, the families, and the community have also been another special candy that fell from the sky. I've just been so happy and, and, and excited to be welcomed by the wonderful Foothill family and the Foothill community. A special thanks to Barbara Sellen for helping me with my essays. They were definitely heart-wrenching for me to write. There's one thing that distinguishes me, however, from Mary Poppins. As much as I like to believe that I'm very similar to her, I always, I always flitted from place to place without, sort of like Mary Poppins, I stayed until the wind changes. In this case, I'm staying forever. Thank you.